when the opponent opens the bidding and partner says double, he commands you to bid a four card major if you have one, even if you have zero points in your hand. However, if your right hand opponent bids after the double, then you're off the hook and you don't have to bid with zero points. If you make the lowest bid possible, you are showing zero to eight points. I'm going to brainwash you. It's always the lowest bid is zero to eight, zero to eight, zero to eight. Burn that into your brain. A jump shift, a jump bid would usually show nine to eleven points counting all your distribution. The lowest bid is zero to eight. Jump bid is nine to eleven. This time you have zero high card, but West opens one diamond and partner doubles, East passes, and you and partner expects you to bid. You don't want to bid, but partner commands you to bid. You have no choice. You bid one heart. Partner's double commands you to bid your best major. So you bid one heart to show exactly zero to eight. I'll say that again. Zero to eight is the lowest bid you can make. You are not allowed to pass unless East makes a bid. This time you have ten high card points. West opens a diamond. Partner doubles. East passes. And you have a much better hand than the last one. You don't have a bust hand, but you don't have an opening hand either. So you jump to two hearts to tell partner you have exactly 9 to 11 points. You have, an, and your bid does not show five hearts because partner, partner's double promised some hearts, at least three hearts. So jumping to two hearts does not show a five card suit. West opens a diamond, partner doubles. What do you bid? You have four, seven, nine, ten high card and a double ten heart. You get one extra for that. It gives you about eleven points county distribution. What are you going to bid? You should know by now. You jump to two spades to show nine to eleven. If you bid one spade, Partner will take you for zero to eight, zero to eight, but you have a much better hand. But jumping to two spades does not show an opening hand and does not show five spades ever. West opens a diamond, partner doubles. Um, it's quite rare that you would have six good diamonds. Um, what are you going to bid? Are you going to bid two diamonds? Are you going to bid one spade? Many folks would want you to bid their beautiful diamond suit. However, you must ask yourself, if game is possible, would it be easier to make 10 tricks or 11 tricks? The answer is 10 is always easier to make. So you would jump to two spades. Guess what? Partner doesn't even want to know about your diamonds. He commanded you to bid a major. So besides the opponent bid diamonds anyway, I meant, I meant for the opener to, to open a club, not a diamond. But anyway, the principle is still about the same. Uh, you could actually pass two diamonds with this hand. You could pass one diamond doubled because you're probably going to take five diamond tricks and partners double promises about three tricks. So that's about eight tricks. So if West loses eight tricks, he'll be down two and that's how you know that you can leave a a double, a 
doubled contract and change it to a penalty double. This won't happen very often, so you probably don't need to remember this one for now. West opened a diamond, partner doubled, east passed, and you, you want to bid. Um, you have the king and jack of diamonds, and you don't have a four-card major. So the book tells you you should bid one no trump. One no trump is not a bust hand, never. You never bid one no as a bust hand. If you had a bust hand, you should bid a, your three-card spade suit. Um, however, you have seven to ten high card the book tells you to bid one no trump. You must have a stopper in the enemy suit, of course. This time you have four, eight, ten, thirteen. You have an opening hand and two points for distribution. The enemy opens a diamond, partner doubles. This is also a rare hand where you can actually pass the double because you're bound to take about three or four diamond tricks and the ace of hearts and the ace of spades. So if you take five tricks and your partner takes three, that'll be eight. And the enemy, West, will be down two tricks. That's what tells you you can leave the double. This is another hand you won't see very often, so if you don't remember it, don't worry about it. West opens a diamond. Yeah, I've already said you could pass the one diamond doubled because you have five high diamonds and two other aces. You can expect West to be down two or three and give you a score of 300 or 500, depending on the vulnerability. West opens a club, partner doubles, East passes. This time you have a full opening hand, 4, 7, 11, 12, 14. Um, you have to somehow tell partner that you have a full opening hand, but if you jump to four hearts, you might find out that your partner has four spades and only two hearts uh, or three hearts. So spades would have been the better suit. So just to keep all your options open, you actually would bid the enemy suit. So you would bid over partner's double you would bid two clubs the enemy suit. A lot of people are not comfortable bidding the enemy suit, especially beginners, but sooner or later, if you want to be an advanced bidder, you'll have to start bidding the enemy suit. It's called a cubit of the enemy suit. You must tell partner you have an opening hand, and that's the only way to do it. You can't jump to two spades because that shows 9 to 11. A jump to two hearts shows nine to eleven. Uh, a jump to two no trump would show twelve or more points, but you might miss your eight card fit in a major, so two clubs is the right bid. If partner bids two spades, you raise them to four. If he bids two hearts, you bid four hearts. If partner bids two no trump, you can bid three no trump. And if partner bids three diamonds, you can bid three no trump because you have a stopper in clubs. West opens a club, partner doubles, east passes. Do you think you can pass because you have five clubs and five diamonds? Um, it's possible. You, you can expect to take three club tricks, maybe even four if you trump some hearts, and you're going to take one diamond at least, maybe two. So you might leave the double. Let's see what the answer is.
One club double pass looks like you can pass because you are of your good club suit and your diamond holding. Partner will likely have high, high spades and high hearts, so you should collect about 500 points. You, uh, by passing, you convert your partner's takeout double, you convert it to a penalty double, and you have every right to do that. Of course, this hand won't come up very often, maybe once out of 300 hands, so if you don't remember it, you don't need to worry, especially in social bridge. It's no big deal. If partner makes a takeout double, there are basically only three bids that you can make about 90% of the time. The lowest suit bid possible shows zero to eight points. I've said that about 20 times now. <laughs> a jump in a suit shows nine to 11, does not promise a five card suit, and does not show an opening hand. A bit of one not trump shows exactly seven to ten high card with a stopper in the enemy suit. The one not trump never ever shows a bust hand. It's a positive response. Rarely will the partner res responder make these two bids pass. You would need these cards in the enemy suit Ace, Queen, Jack, 9, 3, or King, Queen, Jack, 9, 4, 2. You would need almost six cards in the enemy suit, or five cards and an outside ace or two. The other way to show an opening is the opening hand. You have to bid the enemy suit to show an opening hand. Responder would be showing a full opening hand, telling partner to relax and don't stop short of game. Usually when beginners hear you bid the enemy suit, they fall off their chair or they stare at the ceiling and they have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> so if your partner doesn't, is not comfortable when you bid enemy, the enemy suit, just don't do it. Just go ahead and bid game instead. And if it doesn't work, well, that's part of bridge. Uh, okay. Summary. The takeout doubler will have one of these kinds of hands. The lowest hand he could have is 13 to 15. If so, he will double and then he won't bid again. He'll leave the rest up to you. He'll double and pass. If he has 16 to 18, he'll double and bid again. Even if he doubles and bids one of some, some suit, he's still showing 16 to 18 points. A partner could have a maximum hand. He'll double and then jump the bid. With 19 to 21 and a stopper in the enemy suit, he'll double and then bid no trump, one no trump or two no trump. That will tell you he was too strong to overcall one no trump. So if your partner doubles and bids no trump, he's not showing just 16, 15 to 18. He's showing 19 to 21. And a rock crusher hand won't happen more than once every uh, seven months maybe so your partner will double and then he has to bid the enemy suit so you must never leave your partner in the enemy suit that will be disaster and every partner that I've ever had has left me in the enemy suit and I didn't like it <laughs> if you double and then bid your suit you are showing a good 16 to 18 high card and a very good suit. If you double and then bid no trump, you are telling partner you were too strong to overcall one no trump. So you must have 19 to 21 high card. Whenever you're too strong for one bid, you must double first and then make another bid.